It's hard enough managing file storage on your computer when you have your web browser downloading multiple file names of the exact same file appending a number to the end of it. And this happens by default in every web browser. And I'm going to show you how to change that in Google Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. So this is looking at Firefox. So we'll go up to the file menu and go down to settings. In the find settings, you can type in download and you'll see that it says save files to downloads. You could browse and change where you want to download it to, but it's going to just keep appending a number to the end of any files that already exist. So what you want to do is tell it to ask you where to save the files, which may be annoying for you because it's going to ask you every time you download a file instead of just saving it, but at least it won't download duplicates anymore. There's nothing to save. Just close out of that tab and then the next time you go to download a file you can see that it asks you to save it. And then when you go to save the file, if it already exists, it prompts you whether or not you want to replace it. And now you don't have those duplicates anymore. Looking at the same thing in Google Chrome, if we were to download a file, you'll see that it starts showing multiple files down at the bottom with the number appended to the end of it. So the same thing, we'll go up to the three dots in the top right corner and go to settings. And we can search in here for downloads. And it shows the location, which you can also change, and then ask where to save the file before downloading. So we would just turn that on. There's nothing to save. We'll just close out of there. And the next time we go to download a file, it prompts us where to save the file. And if it already exists, it also asks you to replace it. Finally, looking at Microsoft Edge, if we go up to the file menu and go into settings, you could either type in download to look for it, but the downloads are very clearly marked down here in the middle. And here you can see again the location, which you can also change, and ask me what to do with each download. The wording is a little different, but it means the same thing. You would just basically click that to turn it on and close out of the tab and you're done. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.